We are going to replicate a two-dimensional image in uh, using edges and vertices. One of the first steps is how do you bring your 2D image into Blender? Now I have a PNG and a JPEG here. Uh, it should work with either one. All you need to do is drag this in, drag the file in, and you saw my cursor change right there. And wherever you let go of your left click is where that's going to land. So let's go ahead and look at what actually was created here. Now it is square up <clears throat> to where the viewport camera is. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate the view. You're going to see what I mean. We were looking at it this way and you can see that it's not really aligned with the axes at all, but that's very easy to fix. It's just called empty. Um, you can of course rename it. But what I want to do is fix the rotation, zero, zero, zero. That should make it parallel with the X, Y, uh, Z axes. So it's nice and laid out perfectly flat on the ground. Location, I'm going to zero that out. There are some more detailed options you can look at. I won't need the transform again. I just wanted to put it there. Somewhere in here, you can go to the image properties. This offset, if you wanted it to be offset, like negative one, negative one, like if you wanted the origin to be in the corner, you could do that, or positive one, positive one. That's not what I want. Hmm. Zero, zero. Ah, that's what I thought positive one, positive one would do. Okay, so it naturally comes in with 0 0.5, 0 0.5. <clears throat> I get a 0.5. There we go. Okay, so this puts the image here at the center. Now, if I was going to copy this, uh, I would need to make sure that what I'm going to copy is actually above it. And there's a couple ways to do that. One way is take this transform. The Z coordinate needs to be slightly below zero. I'll do minus 0.1. And now I'll select that. It's a little tricky to see here, but the image is slightly below the design I'm creating right here with my edges and uh, vertices. You can lock uh, this. Uh, you don't want to make it invisible like that. Let's see. Well, let's not worry about locking because I don't see that right up here. Uh, but at least you now have your image in place and now you can start to copy it. And I recommend look directly at your image when you're going to edit. So this way you can start to move points around, add points and uh, design, uh, make your make your mesh look like your design. Now this one I don't recommend doing because the curves have variable radius and that's much more difficult than just a simple bevel. You can see up here, a simple bevel will be great for this part of the curve. However, some of these flame things right here, the curve is not a constant radius and they're going to be quite a bit more difficult. So this is not a logo I recommend you start with. This would be very easy to get the outside of this going, but all this inside detail would be quite tricky.